I don't know if you can tell the difference. Not sure if my camera's picking it up. But on the right side, I've put some linseed oil on it. And see how it's made the contrast in that wood come out? And on this side is yet to be applied. And in contrast, look at the side that I have not uh, put any oil on yet. So I'm real happy with this. I'd say this old can of oil, linseed oil, is close to 30 years old. I've had it for ages. Someone uh, correct me in the comments, but I think linseed oil is something that you can put on butcher blocks. Uh, I think it is food safe. Now, some of you guys that make a lot of butcher blocks, you can comment on that. But I turned some salad bowls in high school back in 72, and I, I'm pretty sure it was uh, linseed oil that I put on those. I gave them to my sister-in-law, and she's still living. <laughs> so I guess it was okay. I hope she's not does ever watch this episode. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure whatever it was that the teacher said I could put on there, it was food safe. But I just can't remember if it was linseed oil or what it, what it was. This almost looks like if you was really hard up, you could use vegetable oil. Of course, it would probably go rancid on you. But yeah, I like the way this is turning out. Get it hooked up on the sides. I'm just playing with this this weekend. I really should have cleaned up my shop a little better before I do finishing. Looks pretty good. I can see the edge grain probably needing several coats. See if I can squeeze this out. Cause I don't. I want to rub it in good on the end grain, but I. I don't want it uh, dripping all over the floor. Yeah. Oh yeah. As they say, this is the cat's meow right here. And, you know, the, the worst part about this whole project is I'm putting my machine machines on top of it. I'll be drilling holes through this thing so I can mount them. But if I ever need to build another one, I'll kind of have an idea how to do it for a regular workbench.